Hey, how's your ad tracking doing? Welcome back to our series where we're going to explain tech marketing stuff in a simple no code language so everybody could understand. My name is Paulina and I'm a marketing specialist from RedTrack. What is RedTrack? RedTrack is ad tracking and conversion attribution solution for marketers all over the world, helping to consolidate and analyze your advertising activities in a single dashboard. As soon as iOS 14 update rolled out, we offered a new solution for Facebook conversion API integration and domain verification. That's exactly why I'm going to show you the setup of Facebook Conversion API with RedTrack today. In a previous video, we talked what is Facebook Conversion API and why you need to install it right now. And this time, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to set up everything so you could actually track your conversions with Facebook ads. In today's video, we will cover the following topics. What settings you need on a Facebook site, what RedTrack account you need to track your conversions, how to integrate Facebook with RedTrack, how to set up all the campaigns on the RedTrack site, how to configure events in aggregated events measurement, and finally, how to launch your campaigns on Facebook. Let's review what we need for this tutorial. First, we need our business manager on Facebook. We need business settings, uh, we need events manager, that's where our pixels are stored, and the ads manager, that's where you can edit your campaigns, ads, etc. And of course, we need one and only RedTrack account to connect everything and to connect Facebook Conversion API. Okay, let's start with the first step. Um, like the most essential part is you need to verify your domain. We are talking about it all the time, so I hope you already got this point done. But if not, I'm going, just going to quickly show how we usually do that and how we tell our clients to do that. So you go under the brand safety and business settings, you press domains, and you click add. Uh, here you type uh, the name of your domain. This is the one what we use for the demos. And uh, once you got the name, you get the instruction that you have to follow to um, complete the verification. We usually recommend to use the DNS method. We find it the easiest, uh, but it's up to you. You can choose whatever you find most convenient. So how do you verify it via DNS? Uh, you copy this record and you go to your domain provider. Uh, we usually use GoDaddy, but um, let me know if you need like a precise step-by-step -step video. How do you, how do we verify the domains uh, and we will create it. But if briefly you copy this record, you go to your domain provider, you find where you can insert this text record, a TXT record, and um, then you just follow this instruction, add, add if you need to, and press verify. It can take some time, so it can take 24 hours, 48 hours, sometimes it takes just a few hours. So wait until it's verified on the domain server side, and then go back here to Facebook and click verify on Facebook side. So wait until your DNS configuration changes uh, and your domain is approved verified and then click here verify on Facebook site. Once you got all the steps done, um, you will see the verified uh, green label here near your domain. We go under add accounts and we check connected assets. So this is the account that we use for the demos. Uh, and you can see that there is nothing here under the connected assets, and that's the way it's supposed to be. So make sure it's blank here. Then we go to data sources. This is where the pixels are. We use for them as data silo and connected assets. You will see under your pixel uh, your ad accounts connected. That's the way it's supposed to be. Make sure your ad accounts are connected under the pixel of your choice. And last but not least, we go back to the domain. And if you go, if it's already verified, you get an option to see connected assets as well. And under the domain, you need to find that your business page is connected to the domain. So make sure these three steps are done as well, because it will 
spoil the conversion API setup if you don't do that in advance. So this was pretty easy, I guess. Uh, but what do we do next? We need to save some info before we go to RedTrack. We go to Events Manager, and this is the um, pixel that we use. And we go to Settings, and we need to save the pixel ID. We will need it later when we go to RedTrack. So I just use a simple note. I've prepared it. So note called pixel info. And I just say pixel ID and I copy here. What we have to do, we have to generate access token. What is that? Here it is. So under conversion API, you find generate access token. You press it, generate it, and save it as you did it with pixel ID. So here you will have a second um number and i'm not going to generate it right now because it's a demo but something whatever it is you save it right here and that's it uh, like that's all the preparations we need to do on the facebook side before we can proceed to red track let me remind you that you need to have a pro plus subscription plan uh, because it allows you to send conversion api to facebook it allows you to connect conversion api to facebook and um, what we want to do first, we need to go to traffic sources and add your new traffic source, Facebook. So you just press add and you find Facebook in the list. So it's a template, which makes it super easy. You just go and create a name. I'll name it Facebook tutorial, not to confuse anyone. And uh, the first step we have to do is we're gonna press save. Uh, the next thing that we're doing, we need to connect our Facebook account uh, to connect them. You press that, continue. Now it's connected. You press save again, and now you can see that it's active. Uh, so now RedTrack is connected to your personal page as well. And as personal page is connected to the business page, everything is tied and connected properly. What we want to do now is uh, you see this field pixel ID and conversion API access talking. Uh, what you do is so we copy this again pixel ID, you store it here. Uh, I don't have access talking, but you store it here, whatever the number was. And default event name uh, this is the name of the event that we're going to send. Um, data to and uh, by default it's going to be purchased so if you leave it bank it's going to stay purchased if you want some special name uh you for your special event you can tap it here all right after we created our traffic source we need to uh, make sure that we have our offers and lenders set so offer is the product that you advertise usually comes from affiliate network ad network like digistore click bank whatever you use and you set it here and lender is the landing page that you use for advertisement usually it's used only by affiliates not by product owners uh, but it's up to you uh, so but offer is something that we all will need for the setup i will not go into details on offer setup in this tutorial but uh, let us know if you need more explanation in further videos so once offers and lenders are set we go and create a campaign on red track uh, I'm, you would create a new one, but I'm just going to save you time by uh, using the existing one and I'm going to show you the details. So here you type your campaign name. You choose the source. The source is the traffic source that we just created. So I use a Facebook tutorial. You can create several sources for Facebook. So um, make sure you use the correct one. Uh, then we need to make sure that offer is added. So we are using the RedTrack.io homepage offer um, and you can add it here. And you need to make sure that auto update costs are on. After you, this is the most important steps. Uh, then you press save. And the next step for you is gonna be, you go to tracking options, you press universal script, and under tracking parameters, you will find your tracking parameters that you will need on Facebook side. So you just copy that and uh, we go back to our, I'll say tracking parameters. Um, uh, I'm gonna save it as well and um, yeah, this is it. This is it at this point. Uh, 
you are good to go with the campaign setup. The only thing that we have to complete, um, I'm, I'm not gonna save it. Uh, we need to go to our offer that we were using and make sure that we have these things added. So um, it, it would be blank if I didn't fulfill it before, but uh, under default action source, you choose your website and under default event URL, uh, you choose the domain that you verified. It's very important to keep everything under the same domain that you verified. So everything has to be tied to this domain, uh, not to mess up the whole construction. And if you need to add more pixels here, you can do this here by clicking add more pixels. You press save again and uh, the red track side is completed. Okay, the next step uh, that we do is we create a campaign on Facebook. So the first campaign you want to create, it's like a test campaign and you want to choose traffic for consideration because for now we just need to generate some clicks and make sure they go to red track. Uh, so you create the campaign, you know how to do it. I'm sure that you're a professional at that, so I'm not going to go into details. But what you need to do is, uh, if you edit the ad, uh, you need to go down and insert your website URL, which is the domain that we used before. Sorry, I have a caps lock activated. And um, and then you scroll down for tracking and this is where you insert your tracking parameters so you insert them right here values previously set because i've done that before uh, but uh, this is where it goes so after that you can publish your campaign finish all the in, in settings that you need for your campaign and once the clicks are starting to um, get in Facebook, they have to automatically get to red track. Uh, how can you check if they're actually getting there? So if you go in the campaigns, I'll choose less than days just to give you a good example. Uh, you will see near the title and the traffic source clicks. So this is where you want to see your clicks from the campaigns from Facebook. If they are not getting here, if you don't see any numbers showing up on Red track account. Uh, just make sure that your tracking parameters are in. Otherwise, you can contact the support from Red track and they'll try to investigate what could be wrong because uh, every case differs and um, Facebook settings can differ too. Uh, but uh, to finish the whole setup, we would like to warm up the um, event. Um, I'm sure you already heard this term before, so we have to warm up um, to generate the required frequency. First thing you want to do is you want to add conversions through RedTrack, so RedTrack will actually help you do that. You go to logs, clicks, I actually saved your time by doing it already, but I'll just show you quickly. You choose um, your traffic source here. You choose some, for example, less than days, apply refresh, and you see these click IDs. Uh, basically, you need to copy them and save them to your note. Um, I already did it, but I'll show you. Uh, just make sure you choose the click IDs that come from type click. No, just copy all of them at once. It just will be easier for you this way. You go to logs again, conversions, and you add those conversions. So see the example this is the click id comma and this is the purchase value uh, so you want to put here the number which is the approximate value that you would have for your conversion and what we do we just uh, paste our click ids that we used before that we copied from before and we're going to put some purchase values for example this is what i'm gonna use save them and upload successful so now we added the conversions to the event uh, how do i know that uh, it works so what we do is uh, actually let's let's see uh, we go to the um, event that we were warming up 
just allow it some time so it will not work minute to minute. Uh, so everything you do just it takes a few hours to process the information that you perform. So under the event that you were warming up, you go to view details, you go to event overview, and you will see the um, um, the events received here. So you see uh, we had 12 before, now we have 15. Uh, they come from conversion API, events received, events processed. Uh, that means we're doing everything correctly. What we, we want to do now is also check the domain. So it comes from the verified domain, from the same domain that we used, which is amazing, but also means that we're on the right track. So next thing you want to do, because this is not enough, like 12 events, uh, 12 conversions is not enough for event to be warmed up. Uh, so you cannot add it to AEM just yet. You want to repeat this exercise by adding conversions here uh, three to four times. So you take three, four clicks every time, uh, like every five to six hours, I would say. And you would say you would do that in a period of 48 to 72 hours. So don't do them all at once. Do it a um, few clicks at once. And uh, uh, usually the required frequency that we notice on Facebook is 20 to 30 conversions within a 48 to 72 hours period. So after you've done that and you've generated enough of the frequency for the event, you will notice that uh, you will be able to configure events now. So you then go to aggregated events measurement, configure web events, you see the domain that we have, and you manage events, edit, you add the event through here. I will not add it now just uh, because we, I have it already here. So you choose the pixel that we used before, which is Retrax Data Silo. And you choose the um, event that we were warming up. So for us, it's purchase. Uh, you see it's duplicating, so I cannot show it right now. But um, what's different is that usually you see this a warning yellow sign here if the event is not properly warmed up um, or if some of the criteria by Facebook do not match. Uh, in this case, we don't see this warning anymore. And that means that we are on the right track. <laughs> ready to start the campaign that you desire. So you create a new campaign and you can choose um, conversions for a campaign objective and you can optimize for the event of your choice. Um, this is all for the conversion API setup and for AEM setup that we have from Bretrack. Um, let us know which of the um, segments of this video were not clear and where we can go into more details. As you can see, we finished the setup. I hope it was easy and clear, but if you still don't understand something, be sure to comment down below and we will reach you out. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel not to miss out any news or any upcoming videos. And also let us know if there are any topics that you're interested in to see from us. And see you in the next videos.